Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer that are known as the daily office lectionary. And actually, for the next nine days, including today, we will be doing what is known as a novena. Yesterday was the Feast of the Ascension, where we celebrated the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ on the 40th day after his resurrection. He ascends into heaven to return to the Godhead, since he is one of the members of the Holy Trinity. Uh, and so he told the disciples to stay in Jerusalem to pray for the promise of the Father, which of course would be the descent of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost or Whitsunday. And so the disciples spent nine days in prayer. And so we, after that example, are going to spend nine days praying for the gifts of the Holy Spirit in anticipation of that feast day coming a week from this Sunday. A novena to God the Holy Ghost from the Holy Ghost Fathers, written in 1912. Today, Friday after the Ascension. The Holy Ghost. Only one thing is important, eternal salvation. Only one thing, therefore, is to be feared, sin. Sin is the result of ignorance, weakness, and indifference. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of light, of strength, and of love. With his sevenfold gifts, he enlightens the mind, strengthens the will, and inflames the heart with love of God. To ensure our salvation, we ought to invoke the divine spirit daily, for the spirit helpeth us in our infirmity. We know not what he should pray for as we ought, but the spirit himself asketh for us. Let us pray, almighty and eternal God, who has vouchsafed to regenerate us by water and the Holy Ghost, and has given us forgiveness of all sins. Vouchsafe to send forth from heaven upon us your sevenfold spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of piety and knowledge, and fill us with the spirit of holy fear. Amen. And our daily act of consecration to the Holy Ghost. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body to you, eternal spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your, of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light, listen to your voice, and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus, looking at his five wounds, trusting in his most precious blood, and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, O oh, adorable spirit, helper in my infirmity, to keep me in your grace, that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant heareth. Amen. And our prayer for the sevenfold gifts of the Holy Ghost. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven did promise to send the Holy Ghost to finish your work, in the souls of your apostles and disciples. Deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven the spirit of fortitude, that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation. The spirit of knowledge, that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints. The spirit of piety, that I might find the service of God sweet and amiable. The spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples, and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. 